Down. All hits B93. That's Tyler Shaw, House of Cards, who was my co-host earlier this week. He was actually sitting in with me on Tuesday. A video of his performance posted up at B93.fm. And I am without breath right now. Um, I just found out who my special guest is today. And you're going to freak. I freaked out. Um... Of course, Tia sent our promo director, Brittany, to film a video of it. Yes, I, I spazzed. Um, I have a fear of things that are wearing costumes and that are in mascot outfits. And this guy is very much the... He's very much one that you would be scared of, but also at the same time, it's really freaking awesome. So I'll talk to him uh, just coming up. Be listening for that. And we're going to post the video right on our Facebook page so you can figure out who it is. V93, that was Taylor Swift's style. Oh, man, I'm all flustered this morning because I got a special guest co-host in. Um, do you, are you going to do, you do your character voice or do you want to do your normal voice? I'll just use the normal voice. Okay, the normal voice. Okay, well, do you want to tell people kind of what just happened? Because I, I'm all flustered and you... Okay, I don't even know where to start. What's your name? What's your character name? My character name? Yes. Like Bruce, is that what you're? <laughs> is that what you're looking for? Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you are Batman, and I don't know how this whole situation happened. Um, I I have this fear of mascots and things in costumes and and this sort of thing. And and I think how this all happened is our producer Joel saw you an ad for you, and he told Tia, "Oh my goodness, we have to get this guy on the show and freak Audrey out." And so all week I've been having a panic attack. You are. She's been leaving me voicemails. Oh, so you're here. I'm here. And now I think I've calmed down enough. Good. So uh, how does this how does this happen? You're Batman. You have a suit. Yes. Uh, I have a, uh, a movie replica suit. Um, and I had taken out a Kijiji ad back in September. Mm-hmm. Just basically offering for uh, any charitable events or uh, birthday parties or anything. If anyone would like to just hire me. Just because it... Is such an authentic uh, movie replica suit. It's so. legit. I mean, the video is posted up on our Facebook page of of the whole reveal, whatever. Everyone's going to make fun of me, but whatever. Um, and you can check it out there. And I, we'll be talking a bit more throughout the morning because I really want you to... I think this is... Uh, now that I know, I think it's awesome. So we want to pump you up. But uh, we'll chat with you a little bit uh, more. All hits B93. That's Glenn Morrison is love. Goodbye. It is 740 now. And good morning to Batman. Good morning. Good morning, The Lethbridge Batman. People can actually find you on Facebook as The Lethbridge Batman. Yeah, there's a Facebook page created just, uh, hopefully some people will be interested in contacting me to Mm -hmm. have me come out to their charitable events or what have you and, uh, you know. Birthday party, um, bachelor, do you do bachelorette parties? Uh, No, I have been (laughs) asked to do one, but uh, I responded and said I'm not a professional dancer and then I didn't hear anything back, so. Maybe they wanted... They wanted something you weren't offering. Okay, yes. No, well, this is a family-friendly thing, yeah, not, exactly. uh, not a bachelorette party thing. No. Okay, so you have your costume, which is, do I call it a costume? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's actually a, uh, a real leather and Kevlar motorcycle suit okay. is the intention behind it. Uh, but, of course, it does replicate as a, uh, it's a licensed Warner Brothers uh, costume. Oh, my gosh, outfit, really? So, yeah. Okay, so do, yes, call it an outfit. It sounds much more cool or manly if sure. you say outfit or a I costume. Agree. I don't know. All right, so people can find you on the Lethbridge Batman on Facebook. And uh, you should tell people, what's your real name? Who are you? Maybe your friends are listening. Yeah, so my real name is Adrian. Uh-huh. I work in uh, Tabor, but I live in Lethbridge. Uh, work at ATB Financial. Okay. So I do have a normal day job. <laughs> I'm not just some 30-year-old who lives Weirdo. in his parents' basement okay. and wants to dress up as a... Uh, a masked crusader. Well, maybe so. half of that is true. Well. <laughs> a little bit of that is true. No. A little bit of a geek in me, but uh, no. It, How, where does the Batman thing come from? How do you even get, oh, one day I just want to have this suit and go out and do this? How does that even happen? Uh, my story started off in uh, Australia, actually. I oh. did my uh, business degree over there. And uh, when I was over there, I was running a Canadian student society. Uh, we did big parties for the university that okay. were events for uh, charitable fundraisers. So we did a costume party, and I found just a little standard, you know, decently good uh, Batman costume. Okay. And I like from Walmart. <laughs> um, it was from a costume <laughs> shop, but the yeah, Australian. Okay, it was like one hundred and twenty-five dollars or whatever. Okay. And uh, I did a bunch of modifications to it. And that night, like, I had people lining up just to take pictures with me yeah. in this like 
cheaper little uh, Batman suit. And then uh, I found this uh, this particular one that I have now a couple of years ago. Uh-huh. And I've just been waiting for the right time to buy it. So. Oh, and there you got your hands on it. And now you you do say that you do charitable functions and you're available for other things as well, like birthday parties and, and uh, maybe corporate events. Really, you could do anything people want to do with you except for the stuff we talked about that you're not doing yeah and there's uh <laughs> there's a lot of stories out there right now too of, there's like a five-year-old boy who was a big batman fan yeah. down in the states who uh i think he had some kind of a terminal disease and i just thought like how cool is that yeah. that they did that so i thought well if i could do the same that would be pretty Making cool dreams come true you should get in touch with you know the make a wish foundation and all these kind of places because we don't have anything like this really locally even in alberta this could be a big thing for you we might be onto something yeah all right we'll talk about it more coming up lady all hits B93. That's Ed Sheeran thinking out loud. 751 now, and we have revealed my special mystery guest this morning who is none other than Batman Ad- himself. himself. I was going to say Adrian. You have a real name. Uh, thank you for joining me this morning. And I have to ask you because I need Batman's popular opinion on this. That dress last night was the dress white and gold, or was the dress black and blue? I saw black and blue. Me too. That's just my opinion. I think there's multiple factors to it. Oh gosh. I think it depends on what screen you're looking at it through. I think it might depend on. It's your eyeballs. It's yeah. your brain. Maybe I don't know how what's old happening. you are. Okay. Well, it's you and me. We're on the same page. That's all that matters. All hits B93. That's Kaiza Hideaway. It is 8.08 now. Good morning. It's Audra with the Breakfast Buzz. And I'm joined on the Breakfast Buzz by Batman. And in case you missed it, he entered the studio. Oh, but you've been here for about an hour now, hey? Yep. Yes. And uh, what happened was Tia booked the Batman because she knows I'm freaked out about people in costumes and outfits and, and mascots and that kind of thing. So she said, hey, this is funny. Let's do this. Found you on Kijiji, right? Yeah, that's right. Right. And so, uh, and then we got you in here and now I'm calmed down. I freaked out for a good half hour, (laughs) but now things are back to normal. So you can check out not only the B93 Facebook page, our Twitter, but also you have a Facebook page. Yeah, I created one just uh, so people have a means to contact me rather than doing a Kijiji search. So Mm -hmm. it's uh, facebook.com slash the Lethbridge Batman. The Lethbridge Batman. Yes. And I'm, uh, I'm hoping that, uh, some big charitable organization will contact me mm-hmm. and be interested in having me come just to do an hour or two of photo appearances and or, or whatever. Um, we can discuss the details, but uh, then it's also a place that people can tag themselves in pictures or, yeah. or whatever too. So. Definitely. It's it's very cool to have pictures with the Batman. I can say that. So uh, you can see those pictures up on our Facebook page. And um, we you've already got a few messages this morning and you do everything, but your main focus, I know you, you have a good heart and you just want to get out and do these charitable things. Um, but then you're also available for other things. And it takes, it's, it's a lot of work, this Batman costume, because when I got the text, from Tia telling our promotions director that she needed to help you get into it. Yeah. You had some straps you needed to tie down or something. I yeah. Don't, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it, and it's funny because in, in the actual Batman movie, uh, he has a lot of trouble with mobility and movements. And okay. it's the same thing with when I'm in there. It's right. such a tight fitting suit that I can't reach every little Velcro strap right. and every little Helps string that needs to be tied. you play the character tied. then. Yeah, exactly. But uh, no, it, it's a 14 piece suit when it's all apart. Oh, um, wow. And then when I do it the correct way... I put on the eye makeup mm-hmm. just because if you black out the eyes, it, it really makes a big difference. I didn't do that this morning just because I have to still go to my normal day job <laughs> after this. And they'll be like, yeah, you got a little something there. So, yeah, so well, it takes a lot of work to get into it. And so that's something that, uh, you know, you you uh, put a lot of effort into that. So not only that, so you have the suit, but then you also, I understand, have a motorcycle? Yes, I do. Uh, the suit itself is an actual uh, motorcycle suit. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I had the motorcycle before I got the suit, and it just so happens that it's kind of a black-on-black, black, uh, very loud motorcycle. Right. So It all uh, works. I am hoping to uh, get out on that a couple times in the summertime in the suit. But, uh, again, you won't probably just see me bombing around town on the bike in the bad suit. People would freak so. right out. I feel like you should, because a lot of these robberies that have been happening in Lethbridge are always around 9 o'clock at night. If you just go out there at 9 o'clock at night and be like a cape crusader, they'll scare the you know what out of these little 14 year olds that are robbing all of our stores. So you should do that. Yeah, they'll, so. just, they'll just die. They'll yeah. freak. I don't know though, but <laughs> I've had people try to fight me when I'm in the costume before. No, they haven't. Yeah, when I was in Australia and the other one, there were just some intoxicated people that <sighs> literally thought, oh, it'd be a cool story if I had tried to beat up Batman. And so, people, I tell you. I know. All right. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about this whole process coming up. 
Well, it's V93. That's Mark Ronson, Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk, 822 now. And I'm joined by my special guest co-host this morning, Batman. I'm here. You're here. You have a real name, Adrian. Thank yes. you for joining me. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, this has been a lot of fun this morning and uh, very interesting. In case you missed it, um, basically how this was set up was Tia booked this for me, and I had been booking all my other calls, so I didn't know what was going to happen. And uh, Batman pops up, and uh, of course I was freaked out because I'm a weirdo. And uh, you came, and you're very nice, and you're not scary at all. Good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you're, you're not scary at all. Um, so you have this suit, and I want I want you to tell people, this isn't like a Walmart special suit. Tell them about the suit. Yeah, it's a, uh, a UD Replicas is the company. They make all kinds of different uh, motorcycle suits. Um, but yeah, it's all custom made to size. You have to send in all your measurements. It takes three months for them to hand make every individual wow. suit. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just... Something that the nerdy side of me always wanted, but I figured now that I have it, rather than just keep it in my closet all the time, I should try and do some good with it. Do so. something with it, yes. And and I know that you're very uh, involved in wanting to get more involved in doing charitable events and these kinds of things and, and uh, getting involved with these children. And a lot of the times you see these children with a terminal illness who just want a dream fulfilled. And one of those is always to see uh, a superhero. That's yeah. like a, every kid's dream, right? And so you you're involved in stuff like that, maybe birthday parties and just anything, really. Yeah, I'm open to have anyone contact me and uh, I would charge an hourly rate if it's more for, uh, you know, birthday parties or, or corporate functions, just because uh, you know, my time is fairly valuable too. It and is, if- and we've seen the effort it takes to get in this suit, to plan it, the makeup, and all that kind of good stuff. So, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, the best way you can search for my ad on Kijiji, but I do have the the Facebook page as well. Um, I'm not going to be sharing my phone number. Just, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> that's so. Neither do I. Funnily yeah, enough, there's so. no bad line. I don't want people who are getting robbed to give me a call at two in the morning <laughs> no. and say I need bad or you know I just yeah no 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 Facebook. <laughs> so check him out, the Lethbridge Batman. It is all there, and that's probably the best way you'll be able to check out some pictures there as well. And thank you so much for coming in. And I know your girlfriend has been listening. Should we show, give her a shout out? Yeah, she's over in France right now, listening <gasps> okay. online. Can so. you do a French shout out? A French shout what, like. You want me to speak? In, no, I, Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to speak French. What's but, your girlfriend's uh, name? Uh, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Yes, hi. Thanks for listening. And uh, same with, I got some coworkers from ATV Financial and Tabor who are tuning in as well. And some friends here in Lethbridge. So Just shout everyone. out to all them. Oh, yeah, my well. gosh. All right. Busy, busy guy. Thank you so much for being here. And again, the Lethbridge Batman on Facebook.